What is up, people? This is me, Spec Poo Football Twenty Four. Here, it's been a very, it's been like a long time for me that I posted a video on this football channel. But uh, I feel like I had to get this off my chest. It was about the whole thing with hip hop game. I'm gonna make it really brief, really quick because I do have somewhere to be. So my thoughts on that, you know, video with hip hop gamer. I have to say, I had to get the credit. Uh, where credit is due, I had to get the devil's due. As much as I do not like what the videos with the hip hop gamer be putting up, I have to say he did have some credibility in in this video. It seemed more and more like that Operation Sports post is seeming. It seemed like it's solidifying itself more and more when that guy said that oh it's gonna be for the Xbox One, it's gonna be for the PC. It seemed more and more like solid intel because of the fact that you get a tweet from Joe Montana himself saying that he's over at Microsoft right now. Not only that, it seemed more like that a lot of people, well, not a lot of people, more from what Hip Hop Gamer said, he said the game was, uh, he said from people that he talked to said the game was good and everything like that. I'm like, okay, it seemed more and more. Like, from what this game is really going to be, it seemed more like it's going to be for the Xbox One and PC. Now, I'm still hoping for some of my, you know, wish lists to come true. At least two of my wish lists. Yeah, at least two of them. The main two. This is the only two things I want. I've said this, no, I've said this a number of times. i said this on Twitter. i said this on past YouTube videos. I want deep customization in the game. And I want the crowd to get into it like in NCAA Football 2007. I mean, let me give an example of the crowd getting into it. That game with the Super Bowl versus uh, with the Seahawks and the Broncos, you saw how messed up Peyton Manning was? There you go. That's it. That, that's, that's, I mean, like, that's only an example, but I could give you more than that. I can give you college games where the crowd was really, really into it and they'd be messing up the offensive game, which I feel like that's how it should be. So... I feel like that right there was a lost art in football games. I feel like uh, when EA Sports, what they did with NCAA football, it was somewhat of a realistic element to it. So I feel like that should really be in Joe Montana 16. It would really solidify itself a little bit more if they add not only that, but, you know, great gameplay all around. There's a, no, there's a reason why I said that I'm not going to worry about the gameplay because I feel like Damon Grow knows what he's doing. I don't sweat the gameplay too much. I don't. The only thing I sweat is the customization and the crowd. That's all I care about. So, that's two of my wishes is out the way. My, That's two out of the three wish lists that I want that's out the way. Or wish moments, whatever it is. How, however you would call it, or wishes. My third one is that this actually comes true. This entire game comes true. Now, if you guys have been catching me on Twitter, I've been raining hell on on uh on uh EA Sports uh Twitter with the Madden thing. I've been raining hell on them for a good reason. Now, I have a it feels more like everybody would say that uh you do you have a personal well ask me do you have a personal vendetta vendetta against EA? My answer would be yes, I would because I still felt like I still feel like I got ripped off my money. Madden thirteen, Battlefield three, Battlefield four. Now. All of them are EA games. The only difference is that with the Battlefield games, they're being published by DICE. Now, the reason why I get at EA for this with Battlefield is because they rushed the developers, which is DICE, to release the game when they shouldn't be rushed at all. They should be taking their time. But instead, they, they continuously rushed them. And now you look at with Battlefield Hardline. Battlefield Hardline, to me, is exactly like Battlefield 4, just with Cops and Robbers. That's why I constantly get on that every day. Because I want EA to be better. I'm tired of them with their lazy BS. And I'm continue getting at them until they until I find a better battlefield game, and until I get a better football game. So, hopefully, with this Joe Montana thing, it'll stop EA it'll, it'll stop EA Sports from their laziness. That's what I want to happen. I want this game to absolutely shut up a lot of people. And what I mean by that, I mean by shut up the casuals that say this game is good. Shut up some of the people that literally come to me and tell me that this game is good when I know damn well it isn't. Hell, you want to see more proof from how bad Madden is? 
if you have an Xbox One or a PS4 on consoles, I'm pretty sure that they have recorded clips of how bad Madden has gotten. So it's not just videos that you see on YouTube. You see it on the consoles themselves. You see it on the Xbox One. You see it on the PS4. You can see it. You don't believe me? Go look. Go look it up. Especially on the Xbox One, from what I know, because the uh, Xbox One they have an epic fails category. Now that lets you know how bad it really, really is. So, you know, man, all I want is this game to be really, really true. Come E3, coming up in June. That's all I ask for. We already said everything that we had to say with what we wanted on Joe Montana 16. And it can all be summed up into a couple of words. Be better than Madden. Hell, not only for me, I'm setting my expectations a little more higher with this. I don't only want the game to be better than Madden. I want the game to be better than 2K. I want this to be like the most realistic Madden and most realistic football game I can ever come across and play. So far that we know of, it's really 2K8, but people don't seem to really like you know, they don't really know too much about it. They either don't know too much about it or they just don't like it. Really, it's 2K8, but that's what I really want. I want Joe Montana 16 to be better than 2K games. And for me, I feel like that's not too much to ask. Because we've been dealing with this whole thing with the NFL license and everything for 11 years. All I know is this. If Joe Montana 16 comes unlicensed or licensed, you give me a deep customization right along with the loud crowd, you got yourself $60. Hell, you get yourself $80 if you was to release DLC content for some reason. You'll get your money from me. Every last bit of it. So... That's how I feel in the situation. I do have to go, guys. Uh, let me see how much minutes I have on this. Wow, actually seven minutes on this video. I'm a little surprised. But, uh, yeah, man, I really do have to go. So, I'll catch you guys later. I hope my wishes come true for this game. Hip Hop Gamer has some incredible stuff that he said on his video. If you don't know, I'll leave the link in the, in the description. I'll give the double his due just this one time because he wants a better football game himself. So... Yeah, man, you know, the time is coming. It's it's coming very, very soon. Also, uh, before I go, I want to let you guys know that the Simulation Football League is going to have its championship game uh, Sunday, April 19th, I believe. I could be wrong. I hope it's, I hope, it'll probably be in a Saturday, but I think it's going to be in April 19th. April 19th between the Orlando Intimidators and the Minnesota Maulers. Uh, please be sure to catch that game. Uh, the time that it will start will be in the description. So will the SFL's channel. So please be sure to check that out too. Later people.